we're going to be talking about the wonderful, the bodacious, the boisterous Chantal Marie, also known by other aliases such as Feudy Beauty, Chantal Marie, Flobby Bobby, and Big Beautiful Me. I'm going to play a video that's very important. Though this was a video edited and made by my good friend Mongrel of just beautiful things that our our girl does. Can't wait to eat something. So I thought I would just do the video for you. <laughs> was that her crapping her pants? Yes. It was mysterious to me. Oh, this is depressing. <laughs> okay. Oh, serious. I think this might be a fart compilation. <laughs> So this person doesn't edit out their farts? That are, are there farts like the... This, no. Do people watch this person to, like, jerk off to this person farting? Um, yeah, it's actually theorized that most of her viewers are feeders. Okay, and, and feeders, I assume, are uh, people who get off to uh, big fat people eating food? Yes, especially okay. gaining weight. Just making sure I know what a feeder is. <laughs> <laughs> when the IBS hits, looks like we have a hero <laughs> level fart. Oh my goodness! <laughs> um, she has horrible IBS, and she's eating a huge like serving platter of macaroni and cheese. And in the video, there's a point where you see the IBS start to hit her, and you can yeah, see right now. I she... feel like that's the one with the World War II background. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, her messily eating a taco. <laughs> Oh yes. What so do you think? Is, so this is depressing and sad. Like uh <laughs> so like this so so if this person stops eating on camera they'll lose money, but if they keep eating on camera they'll die. Yes, she's actually said before many times that uh she makes mukbangs to so that she can make money to do more mukbangs. Oh Okay. There's a cat. There's a cat in the background. Yeah. Do you love this box cake mix cake? Oh, no. I do. She's so doing one of her weird vocal tics, which is uh, yeah. she'll say shh. I say shh when she eats something that she <laughs> likes. She's got butter, just like pats of butter on this. That's what shark eyes look like. I think that might be icing a cereal. <laughs> I don't know what it's. Whatever it is, I hate it. Uh, her first video was in 2016, but she uh, started her channel in 2014. She has uh, CPS on speed dial. She is better than you. And she is gassy and proud. <laughs> Does she have CPS on speed dial for herself so that, like, her own children can get taken care of in case she has a heart attack on camera? Yeah, what does that mean? Oh, no, she got a hysterectomy. She can't have children. <laughs> Great. Okay, so who is CPS on speed dial for then for... Is she calling CPS on other people or? Oh, yes. She's constantly. Uh, and if there's a reaction channel where they're a mom or they have children, she constantly brings up her children. In fact, there was just a live stream uh, where she was talking about one of those reaction channels, a woman by the name of Charlie Gold, who has two children. And she basically was threatening her kids. <laughs> Okay, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Uh, was she threatening to eat them? Like, what was the, th what was the threat? <laughs> um, saying that uh, she'd call the police on her and that she'd get arrested and then what would happen to her kids if she got arrested, saying that she's a mom so she shouldn't be bullying people. What would her kids think? Just yeah, but, every yeah, but this lady's bullying, like, Mexican pizzas at Taco Bell. Like... <laughs> What the, like if CPS calls me and I walk in and, and someone's uh, showing off their double guns and they're and they're just eating a like a case like a case of some sort of Drake's cake. I don't know that I'm gonna believe them. Like, okay, <laughs> have any of these CPS calls resulted in a successful child abduction by the government? Of course not. Yeah, of course. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> oh my God! All right. Yeah. What do you think of these images, uh, Asterius? Well, okay, I like well, how Asterius called it a double gunt because that is really <laughs> accurate. 
<laughs> yeah, I'd say so too. Yeah, in, in the upper left hand corner, I'm seeing a picture of her and she's showing off a stomach, and then she has like a under her belly button, she has an a second stomach, sort of like how cows live. Mm-hmm. Only uh she's a human being uh <laughs> who is given like God's gift of life and a brain potential, the ability to do good in this world. And uh I guess she's just wasted God's precious gift of life by uh, just going to town on giant trays of mac and cheese while threatening to break up other people's families. Does that sound <laughs> correct, Barry? It sounds about right. And if you look right above her navel, you will see her hysterectomy scar. Okay, you keep saying that like it's funny, Barry's. It's not funny that this lady had a hysterectomy, Barry's. That's the, terrible, the, the reason Barry's. she had a hysterectomy was because she was told by her doctors that her ovarian cysts were going to become cancer as if she did not lose weight and she continued down the path that she did she had months to even start and she didn't and she did it to herself okay Barrett, it's still not very funny how you keep banding around the word hysterectomy like uh but i get what i also get what you're saying she scooped up those chips and they scooped out her uterus you gotta admit <laughs> That's a pretty clever solution. Like, talk about cutting the Gordian knot. Like, she cut the Gordian fallopian tube. She was like, you know what? Uh, Meme of guy pointing at his own forehead. Can't get cancer if you don't have a uterus. Good for her. (laughs) That's a very high-level joke. Let's scroll down a little bit, and we'll meet the two major players in her life. Oh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't like this. I don't like this. Yeah, I keep going. But tell me who tell me about a guy named Pete. Possible theater. <laughs> um, Sriracha, why don't you tell why don't you tell uh stereos what do you know about Pete's? Uh I know nothing about Pete's except that he is a possible feeder and a definite cock. <laughs> But you're reading Barry's notes here. This exactly. is your original research, Sriracha. Ain't my podcast either. Look, I'm just I'm just happy that you don't know who Pete's is. It, I it don't. just it makes me happy. Because <laughs> I thought, oh, am I the crazy one for not knowing who Pete's is? All right, tell me, walk me through Pete's berries and cream. Tell me who Pete's is. Pete's was her former fiance. They dated for a very long time and then she cheated on him a bunch. And then Did he said that with like a with one of those big icing guns that uh, Italian bakers have. Oh, she cheated on him with anybody and everybody. It was really intense. Um, they dated for a very long time. They were engaged to be married. When he found out, he said that he would be OK with her having other lovers. if They stayed together, stuff like that. Mm hmm. The wow, only... she found someone with even lower self-esteem? Go- again, good for her. This lady's got skills, I have to say. She's making bold but intelligent moves. Oh, yes, the skill of taking advantage of an autistic man. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me he was a special needs man. Okay. <laughs> oh. That's how they get you. Oh, okay. Now, all right, now I'm less impressed by this lady. Okay. Uh, The only person in the world that can stand her and the only person in the world that can insult her. Well, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job of it so far. I've 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 downloaded a fat joke book from the 1920s. The only person that can insult her to her face. I'll insult her to her face. Call her up right now. I'll (laughs) tell her. Chantelle is so fat that we have to put her in two slides on the Google slides or the Google Doc. (laughs) Oh, I I need several slides. I don't think she could have enough. She has enough rolls on her body to exactly. Chantel um, is so fat that she's gonna die in her forties. And now put in a rim shot here, Zwick. Or is ever <laughs> editing this? That was so fat she has to take insulin. <laughs> <laughs> My body don't know how to process sugar no more. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh no, my footsie wootsie goes ouchie and go bye bye. <laughs> um, Look, who needs two feet? It's, 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 God, it's like, who needs really two, think about it. Yeah, God gives us extras so we can destroy our lives. Wow, 
So this, okay, this lady's name is Chantel. How the hell did you even find out about this lady? Here's the thing. On YouTube, there's so many weird, like, lol cow weight loss channels. Uh-huh. So you start watching them. Like, for example, like Amberlynn, uh, they start out really normal and really kind. And they're very fun to watch. And then all of a sudden, like, a switch flips and they, they're just crazy. So it's kind of like you went down the alt-right pipeline, but for... But you went down the big fat pipeline, which is a significantly larger pipeline. Okay. (laughs) YouTube and your algorithm fucking up our kids. Damn you, YouTube. You you baked another person's brain. They all know each other, too. Oh, God. What? They all know each other. Do they all live in like a steel reinforced super influencer house? I feel like. I feel like you'd have to have a lot of square footage to fit them all. Yeah, I feel like you would, too. Oh, uh, right. well, well, okay. All right. So there's this Pete's guy. One and- last thing about Pete's. Yes. Uh, after she broke up with her, uh, after she she and her boyfriend of several years broke up, she moved in with him and they're living together now. Yay. Yay. For love. <laughs> Now we will scroll down and you will see BB from Senegal. Asterios, why don't you why don't you read this one? All right, I'll read this. Okay, so there's a guy named BB. Uh, now here these notes here say that uh he obviously dated her for a green card. Uh that's sad. Uh he watches anime, plays video games in the background for gross videos. He's annoyed whenever he's on camera. He didn't have a problem with her staying in a hotel room with Pete's. And BB moved in on Chantel's sister? Wait, uh, tell me about this. Does Chantel have like a have like kind of a uh, uh, a portrait of Dorian Gray style sister who gets skinnier and more sane as Chantel eats? She does have a sister who is much thinner than her and much she seems more normal than she is, but um, I'm talking about uh, he totally moved in with his sister, quote unquote. With his own <laughs> sister? A woman came from Senegal to stay like with them, and BB said that was his sister. <laughs> and there's speculation that that's actually his new girlfriend. Oh. Uh, if you want to see a really good example of of BB being on video, we'll go back and watch together. Okay, now, but now you said if you want to see. Now, you're framing this like I have an option to not see this video. And you do. You I don't have a choice. No, 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 I'll watch your, I'll play your game. Make him watch it. I'll play your game, Berries and Cream, but I won't like it. <laughs> okay. So I guess this is someone they've started dating. He has to work with here. And I'm not going to tell him what. This was the first what. video he was ever a part of. Uh, it's a boyfriend does my makeup tag. Now tell me what you're seeing, Sriracha. <laughs> I have that exact same makeup brush. Oh. <laughs> Is Robin powder all over her? It kind of looks like blackface. He's making her look like a corpse. <clears throat> He's the making- opposite of that. He's rubbing okay. black makeup all over her. You don't, yeah, you don't think that looks like a bloated dead body floating in the river, like like the inciting incident of a shocking new HBO crime drama. Yeah, maybe it does. Thank you know about their dynamic. Now there is fried chicken. He's he's doing makeup while he's. This is him cooking her dinner, by the way. This was a few months or like a few years later. Can you see the absolute shift of personality? In BB? Yeah, his name is, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. His name is BB? Yes. Yes. Um, he, at no point does he seem happy to be on camera. It seems like he keeps trying to escape it, kind of like Superman trying to run from kryptonite. It's just like whenever there's a camera, he's like, I'm going to jump out of frame. I'm out of here. Yeah. He's usually in the back of her videos, like on the couch, playing video games or watching anime, like when she's filming. But other than that, he tries to not really be in anything. Uh, They broke up in January, I believe. Oh. Right after she got a hysterectomy. (laughs) Uh, 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 uh. 
Um, so this is fun for you to like learn about these like incredibly depressing people. So does this make you feel better about your own life, Bears of Cream? Because it's making me feel worse about mine. Definitely not. I just think about like the reason they're fun to watch and look at because they're they're little cows that are fun and they're ones that are not. And the ones that are fun are the ones that do it to themselves. For example, I have a hard time following Chris Chan now. Yeah. uh, Because it stopped being him doing something crazy and it being funny to, oh, let's see how an old person can steal money from Chris today. It's always a new way. So if you were watching the first part of the video, he was obviously very shy on the camera, but he was smiling. Mm Mm-hmm. And it was cute. And then in the other video, he looked very cold and very upset to be on camera. You can kind of tell that it shifted. Mm. Now, my favorite part. The only reason that I'm making fun of her for this is because she is just hypocritical. And she likes to go, for example, the reaction channels. She'll she'll find anything she can to make fun of them. But if you're going to come for me and you're weird looking, um, I'm going to be like, Scratching my head a little, you know. Can you please read the quote that is uh, highlighted? There's a quote here. It says, I can like count on my fingers with the amount of people I've slept with. And that's Fooby Booby. (laughs) I mean, how? but how many of her fingers has she lost to diabetes? I mean, we're assuming a base 10 system of fingers here. And I don't think I don't know that that's the case. I'd like you guys to skim this list and tell me what, uh, just tell me what, uh, you know, uh, grabs your attention. So what's the, <laughs> so I see the word, I see the words homeless man up here pretty, pretty early on. Did she, she make a homeless man sleep with her for food? She went to a park with him and uh-huh. had sex with him on a rock Okay. and said that he didn't, and quote unquote, he did not smell too homeless. <laughs> so wait okay my question is she promised a guy sex for chicken nuggets where did the nuggets come from burger king okay that's you could do you take the guy to chick-fil-a burger king nuggets are the worst nugget were they at least the ones shaped like little crowns um were they at least chicken fries this was when she was much younger uh now sriracha please please read uh the bullet point for me <clears throat> guy she promised sex to for chicken nuggets but only let him grope her because he forgot the dipping sauce in parentheses she would have banged <laughs> if he remembered the sauce yeah what kind of sauce she wanted the special sauce what the fuck does that mean is the burger king have a special sauce mcdonald's Probably. has a special sauce oh they don't i feel like yeah, they do. The, the sauce you put on one. the big mac i mean it's just thousand it's dollar dressing called mac sauce well yeah it's, it's called a, special sauce it's inherently special because it's named after mcdonald's mascot mac tonight you could say that every I'm honestly. Oh, you're lucky. About you're, any uh, sauce you're lucky. Your audio. You. Bring, you're lucky. Your audio is bringing up sriracha because I had you on the ropes. Okay, what did you just say, sriracha? I said you could argue that any sauce is special. Yes, you could, and I will. <laughs> Mac sauce is special. That's a very special sauce. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't see the bullet point that says "guy that put on her bra and cried for his mommy." No, I mean I saw it. I just didn't want to see it like, uh, you know, it's kind of like like if you ever have that, like like sometimes our our soldiers in the military will get this thing called like moral blindness, where they'll be witnessing a war crime so horrible they'll lose their memory. Mm -hmm. And like so like I'm looking at this list and I'm just seeing like dancing lights and colors. (laughs) I think it's my brain trying to protect me. Oh, and by the way, berries, I'm telling you right now on this podcast. Let me tell you what you're going to do. When this episode comes out, you're going to DM me and you're going to be like, Asterios, can you tweet this? Can you tweet a link to this podcast and share it with your listeners? I'm telling you right now, absolutely not. I will not tweet this podcast. After this, I'm going to pretend this never happened. This is horrible. You made me look at this lady's double gunt. I don't even want to see a single gunt in my day. You don't, you don't want to hear about the guy that picked out her dingleberries during sex? Uh, okay. Yes, I'm, please, all right, tell I'm us about it, that, I'm actually. I'm taking out my headphones. 
la 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 I was about to think berries, berries. She was getting it from behind. And she was talking about how she, it was like a, a video where she talked about, it was Fat Girl Files. One she was banana, talking about some banana, of her struggles. Three banana, four, and all one banana of those struggles banana, so do so many is four, how four she has to be very careful when she wipes. Come and the example she gave, split where she was getting it from la, behind, la, la, and she la, noticed la, the guy la, picking, la, picking la, stuff out of her butt. Where did he put them after he picked them? He just said, like, picking it off Four and banana, three bananas, throwing it banana, the one, All bananas <laughs> play them? in the bright, warm sun, flipping like a I'm pancake, popping like he a cork, she was. bingo, bingo, trooper, and snork. Can't let a single calorie go to waste. Exactly. Our children starving in China. Anyway, serious. if you picked a dingleberry ah, off the ground, la, 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 la. <laughs> would you eat it or just throw it away? Would you smell them? Would you at least smell it? La, 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 la. Okay, all right. Let's keep scrolling down this list. The guy she catfished when she was underage. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. so, I'm, so, so now this is your cue to tell me something terrible. Mm -hmm. What happened um, here? They, I believe she was underage, and she catfished this man for two to three years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. saying that she was a tall blonde woman that looked like an actress that he liked mm -hmm. and sent him fake pictures as one does as and then one day he said i think you're catfishing me and then she went on a rant about how shallow he was for not liking her because she for two to three years lied about a how old she was and B, what she looked like. Okay, so this is like a so this is this is like a like a dark nexus of mental illness, where like <laughs> pe like that people are like falling into and getting caught in this lady's gravitational pull. And it is. If I had to pick anything, it would be fat. narcissism. I'm sorry, narcissism. You say? If I had to pick anything, it would be that. Okay. Well, I mean. We are talking about her right now on a podcast, so maybe she's right to be narcissistic. Oh, she uh, actually has a history. Uh, at least once or twice, she's gotten channels temporarily taken down because she flags. She'll flag reaction channels and stuff. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Goodness, goodness. She actually flagged down Josh from Kiwi Farms uh, YouTube stream. That he was going to do on her because her picture was in the thumbnail. Mad at the Internet series? Yes. Oh, F. Mm -hmm. Keep going down. See if anything else catches your eye. I want to hear what I want to hear what you think is interesting, if that's OK. You seem to know more about this person than than maybe we know about science itself. So <laughs> tell me one of the things that you like on this list. Ecstasy fueled threesome. With her friend and her friend's boyfriend, oh. Chantal ate her out after she peed behind a dumpster and didn't wipe. <sighs> You'll get a UTI that way. Yeah. You gotta wipe. <laughs> you gotta wipe. If you're a lady, you gotta wipe. It's not like a, we have these self-cleaning things. They just flap around and flip around, and next thing you know, we're bone dry. You think you, guys, you do, but you don't. I, no. I've never got a UTI in my life. Can any lady say that? No, they can't. Touche. Serious. Mm -hmm. Would you? Have a penis? Yes. And I would recommend <laughs> anyone else to, too. They're great. Uh, would you perform? You can balance oral little sex? mini Oreos on them. Would you perform oral sex on a woman after she peed and didn't wipe? I wouldn't put myself in that position in the first place. It wouldn't get there. Like, I wouldn't be with someone who would who would have that thought. Mysterious. I wouldn't. I'm telling you right now. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not in that apartment building. I'm not in that zip code where stuff like that is happening. Are you telling me on this podcast right now that you do not like to partake in the Forbidden Lemonade? You mean country time lemonade? Because it doesn't taste that great? 
It's mostly sugar. And you have to put the sugar in yourself. That's the thing I hate about country time and Kool-Aid. It's like... Really, it's a scam, isn't it? Oh, oh, add sugar? Oh, no shit, Sherlock, thanks. Yeah, I could buy some food coloring. I could buy some... You can add sugar to anything I want. Yes, exactly. Whenever they're like, OJ, purple stuff, Sunny D. It's like, well, tell me a little bit more about that purple stuff. What makes it so purple? I bet it tastes great. You know, purple stuff, it, that's their like shitty way it's of serious. attacking. That's not, their shitty way of attacking. You can't, the distract, you can't distract me from the question I asked you. I, I already answered it. I wouldn't be <laughs> in the room where it happened. I wouldn't. You're not gonna you're not gonna find me there. It's serious. Yes. Can you do me a favor and please read the bullet point underneath? All right, hold on. The bullet point was it. Uh, <laughs> Okay, hold on. Abusive Ru- Rwandanese man. Underneath the ecstasy fueled threesome. Gas bombed. Itchy pig pen guy. Go- no, I won't read this. No, I won't. I won't read this. I refuse to read this. All right, I'll read this. Itchy pig pen guy with dirty fingernails and scabs on his head. Yeah. What got in the way of? What? <clears throat> Who conspired to squash their love? Who did the Lord Capulet and Lady Montague get together to to keep these star-crossed lovers apart? Uh, they were on a date, and she was just talking about how he was itching himself all over and looked like pig pen. And then when she saw the scabs on on his head, she laughed. <laughs> I think it's around the time where she started developing standards. <laughs> What? Oh, she where the scabs it. from? Well, he was picking himself all over, so I'm assuming from that. Like, I mean, okay, if you pick a scab, that implies that there was already a scab there. Or was he just peeling off his skin? That you, Sriracha's raising great points here. Points that deserve answers, Barrys. Now, Sriracha, you said that you said that you like scummy men, right? I love scummy men. Would you? What would I want? <laughs> would you? Would you? <laughs> I need to know where the scabs come from. Is it would, you bang, would you bang this guy? I need to know where the scabs come from. <laughs> it's not a difficult question. <laughs> if you've got scabs, you know where they came from. You know where those scabs came from. Like if he's just picking at his head, that's a very different answer than like if he has dandruff or something. She specifically said scab, but she did not elaborate after that. I can't answer this question. Yep, sorry, need more information. <laughs> need more information on that. Okay, let's say these are scabs from him picking at his head. Would you would you bang? No. Oh. Let's say these scabs were actually just dandruff. Would you bang? Maybe. What? <laughs> You're banging scabby Abby? You can't, you can't bang some, you can't bang, like, Lord Scabbo. I need to know how bad the scabs are. <laughs> how bad are these scabs? It's a really good question. Uh, bad bad enough for her to mention it. Oh, that's, those are some bad scabs. Oh, look, I don't want to get too deep into this, but it's like, scabs are a silent crisis, traditionally. Scabs are like an unseen mystery. You people don't know you have scabs <laughs> unless, wait, wait, wait this guy bald are you guys telling me uh you wouldn't be in the middle of a passionate night with this man where you picked a scab off his head and put it in your mouth how much longer done with this podcast yet i have to go to jury duty tomorrow and i have to go to how much longer how much we'd be done now we just close this how much longer are we planning on going with this because i have to help tomorrow i think i gotta i gotta go wash my hair and i have to go wash her hair it's yeah, he's going to wash the hair. Get you, shit. Get you, get you a man that picks big scab. Get you a man that picks the scabs off your head. Another one that is very that pops up is uh, Sloppy Joe. Can we not use the word pops for a while, or the word <laughs> or the word? Jo- Could we not use? Hum- There's a lot of words I don't want used. All right, what's the Sloppy Joe thing? Oh God. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Please read the parentheses for me. Yeah, sloppy, <laughs> sloppy Joe in parentheses was gonna let him eat her out. Uh, uh, she met this man at a club. 
Uh-huh. And he went up to her and asked her if fat women, if fat women's vaginas were fatter than uh, regular ones. Are they? Yeah, I mean, are they? That's yes. actually a really good question. Yes. They are? Mm-hmm. Because what fat guys, donkers don't get bigger. Uh, oh, but the area, the, ladies. the area around it gets, uh, the area at- above it does. It do? I, if I remember correctly, she said that he wanted to try a nice juicy peach instead of the same old raisin. This is a very lonely person who's reaching out for human contact wherever she can find it. And I think she's confused good attention for bad attention. And she went to... I also television. think she's so fat when she sits around the house. She really she sits, sits around, around the house. The house. <laughs> she's no. so fat her ass has its own congressman. Mysterious. Yes. Would you let her sit on your face? <laughs> Serious, what? are you suicidal? That's what she's asking. <laughs> I'm becoming increasingly more of that word you just said. <laughs> you um, can say it. It's not on our Patreon. No, no. Which no. you can do it for just two dollars, by the, the way. Patreon.com slash Asterios. Patreon. No, no, no. It's an old it's an old politics trick. You never say a phrase that someone could just cut out. And use, for example, <laughs> you never say something like, uh, I would let this big, disgusting hog sit on my face all night, ride my chin like it was the, the, the eight BMX hangers, dirt bike, like a BMX dirt bike. I would, <laughs> I would let this, I would let this lady ride my face all night long and into the morning. Oh, Chantel. Oh, Chante. Oh, mon ami. <laughs> that um, is like. I would also, never say things like that because someone else could cut them out, use them in their own, for their own sick. Mm-hmm. Sick. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, you're in some sort of meme rap song. I'm, I'm sure that won't happen. Hey, I bet it won't. I'm sure. Absolutely not. Nope. You see, she went to the motel with him and she was right about to. And then she was stopped by these two women who quickly warned her that his nickname is Sloppy Joe because he likes his fetish, is uh, eating out uh, overweight women. People stopped her on the street to tell her that? People I'm stopped skeptical. her. At, people at the motel did. Why because were apparently you- he's a regular. Uh, I don't know if I believe that, Barry. It's like, if... Oh, I don't... Part of the reason why I have this entire list is because... I don't think I would stop some guy. You mm-hmm. wouldn't cockblock Sloppy Joe? I'm gonna cockblock Sloppy Joe if I get the chance. And I'll tell you why, Sriracha. And look, if you disagree with me, that's fine, Sriracha. You disagree with me about most things, Sriracha. But Do. it's like... Please, let's talk about your problems in your relationship on this a podcast. Guy, if a guy has earned the nickname of Sloppy Joe. That means he's an exceptionally sloppy man. By the way, in this mukbang, she was eating eating Sloppy Joes and talking about this. All of these videos, she has eaten food while talking about them. I'm just saying, if you're living your life one slop at a time until you become the sloppiest of all Josephs, I'm telling the world, like, watch out for Sloppy Joe. It's kind of like how in the wire people are like, Omar's coming, only it's Sloppy Joe. Joseph Sloppin. <laughs> I love it! Uh, part of the reason why this is an entire section is because uh, if you... Because God go doesn't these, exist? If, <laughs> he is because, also dead. You, because God is dead and your list <laughs> killed him? Is that why this is an entire section? If you go through the videos uh, from this list, I don't even have all of them. If you go through all of these videos, they're very formulaic in the way that the man pursues her. (sighs) The man is always gross. She insults him, but still sleeps with him. And she'll either steal him away from another woman or have something to say about another woman in the situation. Interesting. Yes, exactly. It's like if we learn nothing from history, we're doomed to repeat it. Trapped within King Lear's burning wheel within a wheel. Only it's a big fat lady making another guy eat her poop. Sunrise, sunset. Oh, can you imagine? The cradle with the silver spoon. Yes, we have no bananas. I'm sorry, what were you saying? I was referencing. Asterios. Yes. 
I'm going to put you in a situation right now. Okay. You've already, well, look, I've been in situations before and I'll be in them again. I'm not looking, but whenever I'm in one, I don't like it. There's no such thing as a good situation. I'm going to ask you very Wait, important. This is the too much cake situation. Wow. I have the too many people want to give me a full-time job situation. <laughs> what a sitch. Okay, Asterios, have you, I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever farted in a girl's face when she was performing oral sex on you? I swear to God, no. And I'm so, I can say that immediately and with a very high level of confidence. Uh, in the few situations I've been in where I've, where, where I've managed to become more than just friends with a cool... Freak a girl into performing oral sex on you. But when I in the few situations I've been in where like, you know, one thing leads to another and, you know, hey, we're all adults here. I'm very respectful. I wouldn't do that to a lady. It's nice of her to be there at all. I've got to have respect for these ladies. And Chantel, it sounds like you don't even have respect for yourself, Chantel. Uh, if that's your real name, and I somehow doubt it is. And that's the first time I think I've ever said that when I, when I doubt it is her real name. She seems like a Fran. Okay, mm -hmm. Sriracha. Qu a lightning round of names this person probably is instead of a Chantel. Okay, I'm ready. Say Josephine. Lissa. Margarita. Darlene. Jolene. Okay, uh, Francis. Yep. Francis is good. Kate. Mm -hmm. With a with with somehow with three K's in it. I don't know how she fit all those K's in there, Rebecca. but I don't I know how she fits all that her in those pants. Rebecca, again with three K's. Perfect. With, Love it. And an Becky, H. But it's Becky. But, but it's Becky. <laughs> yes, Amber Becky Lynn. with the good guns. Uh, Amber Lynn actually works really. It's, wait, is her real name Amber Lynn? Uh, so you're much. factually incorrect, but yes. Okay. <laughs> right. okay. It says Amber Lynn is actually <laughs> Amber Lynn is like the perfect name for this person. Oh my God. Like you can just see this person walking into uh, the learning channel and being like, the title of my show is 800 pound Amber Lynn. Like Amber Lynn is like, that's, that's the name. What about a name like Emily? I feel like she's, with how basic she is. This it would person. have to have something after it, like Emily May. Or it would have to have an X in it somewhere. Emily Marie. Emily Marie would work. Amelia Bedelia. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia is really good. I do like that. Her middle name is Olive. Well, she certainly is the pits. Lilith? Um. <laughs> Look, I'm trying here. This is a very depressing conversation we're having about a mentally ill person, Sriracha. I'm going to go for an olive pit so joke, Sriracha. And that's not even for you, listeners. That one's um, for Coconuts. That one's for me. If you'd like, we can move on to iconic mukbangs. Daddy needs to keep his sanity. I think Rancha might have to move on to going to sleep <laughs> very look, soon. Look, look, I'll stay on. I'll stay on with you for another five minutes or so. But Sriracha does have jury duty in the morning. Yeah, I got to get up. Berries, I have to get up at seven in the fucking morning tomorrow. Yeah, she has to go. It's Oof. fucking terrible. Because oh. I have to be at the courthouse at 8 a.m. And it's a 45 minute drive. Berries, I'm sure you've heard the episode of the last podcast. But for your listeners that haven't. Sriracha, uh, what did you say to get out of jury duty? That I am a racist. <laughs> she wrote the phrase, I am a racist on the little sheet that they give you where they're like, why wouldn't, why aren't you fit for jury duty? So it's serious. I was debating between which outfit should I wear to make myself seem more schizo. Okay. So <laughs> should I go with the full classic Lolita, like petticoat and all like a big fancy little dress with little dress shoes? Or should I wear my t-shirts that says, Hey, libertarians, libraries are socialists. I think you should go with neither and just say something about a hung jury or say something about how you don't think that people in authority can lie to you. Okay. Might be good. Look, look, everything that Barry said you should do. And you should also talk about jury nullification. I don't know yes, what it is. No yes, that. I don't know what it is, but it apparently makes a judge's balls go right up into his gooch. Jury okay. nullification is apparently the idea that a juror can say... 
yes, I think this person committed this crime, but I think the crime is unjust, so I'm going to vote not guilty. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, you throw that in. Throw, mm-hmm. throw that in and be like, well, you know, look, look, I'd have to hear what the crime is, and obviously jury nullification is always an option, but, but you know, I'd have to hear what the crime is first before, I, but, before we brought out the big guns. Sriracha, are you sure that you want to pass up jury duty because you could be yes. if it's a really if it's a really horrific yes. crime foodie beauty could eat pumpkin spice cheese while talking about it on her youtube channel like she did with heaven's gate put oh pumpkin boy spice i cheese also my ass i also have jury duty tomorrow weeks. now what i just got a piece of paper <laughs> oh no oh, my no. internet is cutting out oh, oh no. no i'm gonna oh. send this Audio to Zwick is my dying <laughs> message. There's a there's a thunderstorm. <laughs> Are you sure? She wears a really a very my final nice message. Face. Stop talking about this. Tell <laughs> she tell shows my the bodies. future family that I wasn't on this she podcast. Shows, she shows the bodies. My all final lined message. Up. And she reads the Wikipedia article for it and eats pumpkin spice cheese. And then she makes fun of their outfits. Are you okay. sure you don't want to be a part of that? All right, real talk for a second. Let's drop the bit. Mm-hmm. I wonder if pumpkin spice cheese is good. Um, Let's say terrible. Oh, oh, everything sounds terrible at first. Hey, how about everyone gets the right to vote? Sounds pretty fucked up, right? The thing that most people not don't really. realize about pumpkin spice is that it's not pumpkin. It's just what's added to pumpkin and pumpkin pie. So it's like nutmeg. Uh, sometimes ginger, cinnamon, cloves. So just imagine that plus cheese. Hmm. I would try it. I would want, let me tell you what I want, though. She ate a whole brick of it. Cheesecake. I want she ate a pumpkin. whole brick of it while she was reading the Wikipedia article for Heaven's Gate. Wait, wow, you're telling me this big fat person ate way too much of something? Oh, consider me shocked, Mary. It's a great Hey. Place. She she cut them up into little coffins and stuff because it was her Halloween mukbang. Are they orange? <laughs> it's a white cheese. Did she make one big Racist. enough for her, for her to put herself in two years from now? Certainly not. Yeah, that's what I'm talking make, about. I don't think they make ones big enough yet. She hit 400 pounds. No, they know this is America. They, you can get a pretty good, you can get a double wide coffin. She well, might well, need a triple wide. Think. Yeah. I mean, look, I'd have to. Look, you know, we I'm just saying this is America, the land of opportunity. <laughs> if there's anywhere you can get a coffin big enough to fit your 800 pound carcass in its ear, baby. If you want something else we could discuss, we could talk about how she took the diet advice of a man called the medical medium, a medium who offers pseudoscientific medical and health advice based on alleged communications with a spirit. Wait a minute. Weight loss ghosts. Now you're talking coconuts language. <laughs> right. I, I do lo- have to get off though. I love you guys. I'll talk uh, to you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. Okay. Look, unfortunately, she does have to go. It sucks. Did she register to vote finally? And they mm-hmm. got her. They're, they're like, what? They're like, welcome to democracy, B word. And then they're like, like you're going to it- jury duty. I feel like what what it is is a punishment for her getting in trouble with the law as many times as she did. She's as never she gotten have in, been trouble in trouble with, with the, the law, law a lesser number of times than most people, I believe. Because she's smart enough to commit her crimes without leaving evidence. Called white Ooh. collar motherfuckers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she gets put in, if she goes to jail, she goes to country club jail. Hey! It's was she fun. going to jail for the same thing that Sagittarius Shadi went to jail for, which is spitting in the face of a cop? Oh, me and uh, Martin Shukrelli have a thing. We're linked up. We're going to have the same jail cell. <laughs> nice. That guy's also a prolific shit poster. Can't wait to send him my letter. What, what would, what's, can you tell me just to, yeah, here? I'll go. read it to you. Yeah, what is the you. letter? Yeah, I, I can't believe you have a ready to go letter to the man who t- tried to make Dear. it harder to get AIDS medication. Here, Martin Chicrelli. My name is Sarantra. You might and know I'm me as to say. at delete your account on Twitter. I am sorry that I told you to kill yourself over the internet. <laughs> I have been looking at r slash wholesome Shkreli memes. 
<laughs> and I have developed a sort of camaraderie towards you. I am also a libertarian, <laughs> and I also hate poor people. Can, the, can, can can I guess how this letter ends? Do you mind if I yes. guess how this letter ends? Does this letter ends with the phrase, please unblock me on Twitter? Yes. How did you know? Because I, I, <laughs> obviously you have some sort of game at play here. I'm trying to figure out what your game is. I do not think you are a pedophile, no matter what the courts of New York say. If anything, you are an ephibiophile. <laughs> <laughs> But your right. honor, he catfished me. I thought Good he was night. Older. Bye, night, Sriracha. Love America both. loves you. Okay. Yeah, I had that. Would you like to would you like to watch a video where she attempts to have a threesome with a couple and it just goes horribly wrong? No, but it's iconic. I do, no, I but would. I no, no. But I'll tell you I'll tell you the trap you have me in berries. I'll make the trap. I'll make the trap as bare as Jigsaw explaining it to Carrie Elwes, the <laughs> star of, well, first off, The Princess Bride. But secondly, a lot of people don't know that he was the love rival in Liar Liar. Remember how the guy was like doing the shitty claw? Mm -hmm. The claw, look out for the claw. That was Carrie Elwes. Anyway, mm -hmm. the trap you have me in is that I'm your friend. And I want you to succeed. Please be my friend. And please I am. I yes. I know. So look, I'll resist. Do I want to watch this video? No. Do I have a choice? Not really, because I like you, Berries. You're a mm -hmm. you're you're a friend of mine. Aww. So I'll watch whatever. I'll watch your trash. There's no way I'm. There's no way I will live past this video. All right, I'm looking at a video of I... this lady eating like a bunch of pasta. Is that mm -hmm. am I in the Just right open thing? The bag and check out the bottle. And Looks like we're at eleven twenty four. There's like a lady. A she's in like a driver. black I think top. It was, um, from Pakistan. She's eating. Uh, it and it looks like um, you could, you something cool. she pulled out of the dumpster at uh, the Olive Garden. Uh, she made this herself, by the no, way. They're drunk because I was like, hey, you know, all it's right. Probably so I'm watching this thing. I'm ready to go. You know, I'm trying to find where stuff gets serious. Basically, she this man, uh, this man pays several hundred dollars uh for a cab from where she was to where he was to have a threesome with him and his girlfriend and she shows up and they don't like there her was, like, a whole bunch of their there <laughs> this is gonna be thinking, great oh my god what a oh, lush you know skanky lush she gets very i i emphasis on very drunk and i didn't tell her this because i knew she wouldn't say no once i was there i was kind of just I'm like, you know, do you have anything else to drink? So I get in bed. And the girl, like, kind of just shrinks away. <clears throat> and then after... Now, minutes, would you like, and Sriracha ever like, entertain? I was like, yeah, I'm going to go home. Would you guys... Oh, by the way, BB okay. is in the background. Can you see the uh, the video game playing in the back? Uh, yes. That, uh, I'm still seeing this candy here. cakes video. I just want to make sure I'm seeing the right thing. It's, it's a collaboration. Totally like, what's your problem? You know? Um, oh, part of the formula. She puts down guy, the woman the like, and yeah, says that the guy I'm liked bad, her. Sorry, I'm just, we're just really tired, you know. I must have fallen asleep. Oh, the okay. So this is the part. Exercise. This is the important part. This is a very important part. Next morning, naturally, I, I woke up to the feeling of having to be sick. Okay, so she wakes up having to be sick. I'm By the way, she gets several plates of this uh, shrimp stuff. I don't even know if. I don't even know where the bathroom is. You know, I, I didn't had a naked note. Have you ever been in a situation like this, Asteria? So I ran like through the hall, little hall, and it was a small bathroom uh, apartment. So uh, you're a having a threesome like, with a couple, like, and you can't find the bathroom. I find the bathroom, get on my knees, start doing my thing, and um, this is gross, guys. I'm warning you, if you're grossed out, you can't say I didn't warn. This is you. very so important. To Listen there. to this, Asteria. Turn away. You have three seconds. Okay. <clears throat> so I, it comes out both ends. And I had a skirt on. <laughs> I had a G string. She didn't have an H string? The barf goes projectile all over the wall. The poop goes all over the floor. No towels, no paper towel anywhere in the bathroom. No toilet paper. <laughs> I can feel the horrified, disgusted so, look on your face, Asterios, and it's feeding me. 
Maybe you're the feeder. At this point, I was like... (laughs) The misery feeder! Panicking. But they didn't wake up. I'm also panicking. I get it. I know that feel, lady. She chooses to share Um, these stories and then gets really upset when anybody says anything about them. I took my G-string off. Mm Mm-hmm. Cleaned up with some. Sure, stuff. was it a Z string? That would have worked better. I should have said yeah, that one before. A sweater or something in there. Anyway, <laughs> she cleans up stuff. the pile of her own vomit and shit and with I her clothes. Bad. I smell bad. No I paper towels. Shit, you know? No toilet paper. No she does not take a shower. She immediately gets a cab. <laughs> Imagine the smell of stereos. I call the taxi. <laughs> And I took it to my aunt's house. Now, I was banking on the, on the hopes that my mom would pay for the taxi. Are you okay, Asterio? Do you need a second? I didn't have a cell phone then either, you know? Are you so incredibly so, turned on by the story that you need here, like, Tell the a couple minutes? <clears throat> I knock on the door, no answer. I'm like, shit. I knock on the door again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and then I see somebody peep through the people. Mm-hmm. And my aunt's cutie. What the hell? So they answer the door. They look at me. They okay. Like, smell bad. What the hell? She goes to have a threesome with a couple. Mm-hmm. They do not like her. She gets incredibly drunk. And in the wee hours of the morning, when nobody is awake, she coats their bathroom in basically every juice that she's got. Wipes she it up. Give, she gives them the full Chantel. She Both wipes. barrels. She wipes up everything with just her sweater. And whatever clothes she had with her. And she did a bad job of cleaning up. Let's emphasize this. Mm -hmm. And then she went and took a cab. A several hour cab. To get back home. Okay. Now look. Imagine being the cab driver. Stereos. Imagine the smell. I I gotta say. There's something that's working to my advantage here. That I think you're missing. Which is. That she's not telling this story very well. And I don't, I'm missing a lot of details here. And I think that's my saving grace. You don't, like, you're not imagining the warm, uh, putrid, uh, liquidy uh, (laughs) diarrhea that is splitting between her G-string as it splatters the wall like uh, impressionist like uh, like new wave, uh, new wave art. Of course, that's, that's disgusting that she's, that she's kind of, uh, she, that she's like making a Jackson Pollock out of her giant buttocks. Mm-hmm. But I don't, but I'm, but I need times and places and characters. Okay. Now, did she meet them on Tinder or did she meet the, like, how did she get, did she catfish these people? Like, how did uh, it was she come into Facebook. their orbit? It was either Facebook or IRC. Okay. IRC. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's an old school pervert. Uh, she's a her. fan. She's also a fan of like Leafy is here and like gaming channels, and she Thank watches. God, anime and I don't know who those people are. Um. Okay, okay. So she. All right. So she encounters two people who want to have a threesome. Do they know who she is? Do Do they know that she's this like a uh, chocolate wonderful of a person? She has the history of catfishing. Right. This is what I'm asking. Exactly. Yes. So. My guess is that she used uh, different photos. Ah, okay. So then they all meet up at a hotel or whatever, and they're like, "You don't, you don't look like Tyra Banks. You're not, you're you're not smizing at all." They meet up at a party at their house, and they have other friends there, and (laughs) the girl was definitely not into it. But according to Chantal, the, the boy was definitely into it, but was just too shy, too yep. shy and respectful of his girlfriend to yep. make a move. Yep. If there's one thing that sex perverts looking for hookups on the Internet have, it's shyness. That's it's what they're that's girlfriend. what they're known for. Just mm-hmm. being it will be shy babies. Oh, no, mm-hmm. I can't express myself. User underscore underscore big cop looking for friends underscore underscore. He's mm-hmm. having anxiety about meeting strangers. Yikes, Berries. Are you having fun on this program? No. I'll never <laughs> admit to having fun. On this what? Program. You don't like learning about uh, 
uh, you don't uh, like learning about the woman who who lives in Canada and drove all the way down to America and went and crossed the border just to try Chick Fil A and Sonic and then immediately drove back. I was gonna do that, in I was gonna do that for the United Kingdom. So like mm-hmm. uh, before before I went through a horrific legal situation, mm-hmm. I had the money to buy a ticket. I was gonna buy a ticket to the UK to try the world's largest chicken nugget. Mm-hmm. And um, my plan was like to fly to the UK, land, take a taxi to the chicken nugget place, mm-hmm. eat the chicken nugget and immediately fly home. I just like the idea of going 14 hours to try a chicken nugget <laughs> and then just go home. But I mean, of course, I would be doing that, like, ironically for content on the Internet. Uh, It sounds like this person was doing this because uh, they have a sad sickness. It was right after BB broke up with her and and was about to move out. Sad sickness confirmed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, All right. So so she meets up with these. She meets up with uh, with with uh, gruesome and twosome. Mm-hmm. And um, they're not into it for one reason or another. Their stories keep changing, but the result is the ending is the same. Mm-hmm. We're not, we're not doing it. So she decides to unscrew her butt plug and unleash a torrent of diarrhea, the likes of which that red roof in had never seen mm-hmm. from both ends. If you're in for a penny, you should be in for a pound of diarrhea. And you're certainly in for the 400 pounds that Flobby Bobby is. Oh, my God. She's only 400 pounds, huh? At 5'1". Oh! <laughs> wow, she, so she's as tall as she is wide. hmm I believe her... She's her like BMI a human is, thumb! I'm sorry, her BMI is close to 100. Her TMI is also close to 100, because I don't want to learn any more about her. Imagine the smell... It's a waterfall. It's it's got it's it's got it's Niagara Foodie Falls over there, and we're all in the barrel this time. She violently. Uh... There you go, violently. Those are the kind of verbs you use. When you're she violently expels every fluid inside of her body all at once. Yep, like a squid getting scared. She inks all her time. <laughs> <laughs> like a squid getting rejected for a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be goddamned. Marking okay. the territory. I'm starting to get what I'm starting to understand why you like this lady. She's kind of like the ninth wonder of the world. Wait, how just... could somebody be right. so crazy? Exactly. How could this person exist? How could God have allowed this to happen? Like, you can't grow this person in a lab. If someone were to write a story about this person, if someone were to write a novel about this person, you would send it back and write the phrase too unrealistic on it. But she mm-hmm. is real. Monsters are real. Monsters named Foodie Beauty. Berries, yes. I'm afraid we've reached the limit of our friendship, Can and we I now play have to a go. Game just really throw fast. up. Got to throw up. Can we play a rapid fire game? Okay, but this is. <laughs> well, listeners, I hope you enjoyed my only appearance on this podcast. I just let you know, listeners, if you're looking, if you're looking to hear more of me, you won't find it on. Oh, my stomach <laughs> hurts so much. Can you scroll down to the, real or fake video titles for me? I feel the puke like climbing up my esophagus. Like Are you feeling inspired? To escape my body. Are you copying Chantal? Are you about to also spray from your butt too? No, <laughs> thankfully I've uh, thankfully I've eaten pretty healthy today. Had a lot of fruit today. Had a lot of grapes. Did Man, you know that Foodie Beauty not only has gone on a great fast, but she's also tried the fruititarian diet? While you are still in shock silence, could you please scroll down to real or fake video titles for me? Real or fake video titles. Okay, here we go. Emotional slash crying, mukbang, creamy cashew, coconut, eat with me. Is that a real or fake video title? Read them all, please. Best poutine ever, gyno horror story. 
Mm-hmm. And messy eating KFC mukbang. Number two is absolutely real. I would bet my life on it. <laughs> like best poutine ever. Little divider line. Gyno horror story. Mm-hmm. You are in fact correct. Yeah, I know. I, I'm sure I'm correct because that's videos <laughs> like this are the reason women love true crime. Mm-hmm. It's like, wow, monsters are real and they're out there. Hey, not every woman likes true crime. Just me. Clearly you do, because this woman is a crime against humanity. Because I am different. (laughs) Okay. Now the, now emotional crying, mukbang, creamy cashew coconut, eat with me, or messy eating KFC mukbang. Now look, there's there's a chance that all these are real. Mm Mm-hmm. Knowing the way you play your sick games, berries and cream. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say that the, I'm going to say that the first one is fake. Second, I'm going to say emotional crying, mukbang, creamy cashew, coconut, eat with me is fake. Best poutine ever, guy no horror story is real. And messy eating KFC mukbang is real. Uh, Number one is a real video. No! But it's a video by Amberlynn Reed and not by Foodie Beauty. Can I tell you how I knew Hmm. this wasn't a Foodie Beauty video? Why? Because the title was too long. Mm -hmm. Foodie Beauty is lazy, as can Mm -hmm. be seen by her existence. Mm -hmm. I don't think she would write out a long title to try to catch all of the SEO she could. I think she just writes, best future never, guy no horror story. All right, time to make a video. Number three is partially real. What? What? Okay. The full title of this video is Messy Eating KFC Mukbang Fart Warning. And it's a Foodie Beauty video? Yes. I knew it was real. I knew it was. Because, it, again, it's not very descriptive. Messy Eating KFC, it's like that could be a million different things. Like, she's not giving me enough information. Mm-hmm. Much like she's not giving her body enough exercise. I called it Coconuts Wins Again. Oh, you've seen through my deceptions. Oh, smart man. Look, I don't I may not like the game that I'm playing, but god damn it, I'm gonna win. Are All you right, sure Barry's. You don't want to talk about how she used somebody's mugshot in her Patreon. video to sign for someone. Wait, what was that? Sorry. Uh there is a reaction channel because she likes to specifically go after the reaction channels. A reaction channel called Charlie Gold. Mm-hmm. And used that picture of her mugshot in her uh in her thumbnail and continues to make fun of her for it and call like try to imply that she's a criminal. Patreon.com <laughs> slash stereo. Want to hear more from your fit from the good boy of comedy himself. Wholesome, family friendly, brand safe, Asterios Coconuts. If you're looking to hear more from me, you go to patreon.com slash stereos. I secretly and- think you like these little cows. And if you want, you could go to the loudest podcast. You have an entire series about learning about Christian, which you can get on patreon.com slash stereos for $2 a month. And you're telling me Uh, that you uh, don't have some sort of sick and twisted uh, secret fascination with little cows. Yeah. Yeah. Look, this is what I do for the people I like. Mm -hmm. I like Sriracha. She wants to make this show. I'll make it fine. Uh, You're cool. Barry, you've been cool to me for like two years now. Mm -hmm. I'll show up on your disgusting freak podcast do you want to see what foodie beauty's bmi is have a good night everybody her bmi is 75.6 okay well that concludes uh this episode of girl talk The other night I watched Toad's groovy YouTube movie and the star stole my heart. She truly was a cutie. Chantal is her name. Insane, lovely, and juicy. I really, really, really want this booty beauty's booty. Your tongue's so nice the way you're licking those crumbs. Are those earrings vintage 2001? We should fuck all night. You could make me a son. It will munch on nine plain hamburger buns. Let's hump IRL, not just sex on the phone. It's fine, my dick smells just a little bit homeless. I'll call you a cab. You can come and kiss this spiffy dude. Wear your best thong and take a shit. Right in my living room Leave a pool of vomit too Looking like some chunky soup I'm just so in love You can do anything you want to do I'll 
I'll dump my little lovely 20 something just to be with you. And if you're kinda hungry, I could cook you up a pig or two. Deep throating baguettes, awfully impressing. She tied me to the bed and covered me in dressing. She eyed my penis hungrily, here's where I started stressing. Chantel reached into the nice and pulled out a bun and some ketchup. What are you doing? Don't worry, I brought protection. She took a bib and tied the strings quickly around her neck. Then things got a little gory, she bit down like a velociraptor. And I was horny, so my blood shot up and hit the rafter. It rained down on us, Chantel kept chomping faster. Not my balls, please. She responds with laughter. <laughs> it's not my fault, you stupid bastard. My disease leads to eating wings when I'm plastered. Love life's doomed, no more picking up chicks. I'm a real Ken doll now, nothing but hips. But the worst thing about Chantel hacking my dick was the way that she just kept on smacking her lips. She's obnoxious as shit, but I love my walrus just the same. I let her move and built my grocery bills just went insane. Broke, she kicked me out my house. Now my stuff's out in the rain. Todd is out here stealing shit. My DVDs are in his bag. Yes, my life is ruined from pursuing stupid horny shit. Stop your kinks from stewing into foodie stuff. I'm warning kids, wanna keep your wiener safe? The moral of the story is never fall in love with a hungry, hungry, hoary bitch. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!